Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all for checking this one out. So as we continue to wait for the first ODI game of the series between West Indies and England, you know, <laughs> we, we, we just want to take a look at what our captain, She Hope, had to say to the media. Yes, my people. According to our skipper, the team is ready and they have everyone that they need to go out there and put in a performance uh, for the people. So just give a listening ear as I work my way through the interview that was given by our skipper. You can also let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, so England, my people, as we know, they will be looking to stage some sort of a rebuild or start the rebuilding process after a very weak uh, ODI World Cup, right? West Indies, on the other hand, we were not at the ODI World Cup and we are building towards 2027. That is what we keep on hearing. And She Hope, in his interview, um, speaking to the media, was reinforcing the same thing saying that the team is building and they are looking good and they are feeling good, right? So according to Shea Hope, they had some good practice sessions over the two weeks that they were in camp for. So they were in camp for approximately two weeks and he's saying that they have had some good training sessions. You know, the guys are ticking all the boxes Boxes, according to him. You know, he's saying that what, what they were looking for uh, to achieve in the camp, those are being ticked off. So it's just all about going out there now and getting the job done on the field. You know, he was saying that they need some good performances from the players to start off the series on a good note and to basically show that, you know, they were really putting in some work in the camp. Um, according to him, the aim is to make sure that they defend their home turf. Uh, the interviewer was saying that, you know, usually if it's this test ODI or T20, when England comes to the Caribbean, it is usually um, not a happy hunting ground for um, hunting ground for England. So she hope was saying that, you know, um, whatever it is, if it is personal or whatever it is that drives the, the, the West Indies players, they usually tend to dig deep and uh, find something to come up and make sure that they are able to get the better of England. So, you know, it's all about continuing the same trend and making sure that we defend our home ground. Um, he was saying that, you know, they just need to uh, to continue all of this because they have been preparing well. So it's all about going out there and applying um, what was done. Uh, talking about the rebuilding process, you know, he was saying that the, the, the vibe in the camp is very positive and they are building towards their own history. Man is saying that, you know, history is already written. What we would have achieved in the past is already there. What would have happened is already there. So it's all about going out there and creating their own history and trying to get West Indies back on a good standing. You understand? According to him, you know, uh, they, they have all the players that they need to get the job done. And I can understand the captain saying this. You understand the squad has been selected. You want to make sure that as the leader, the players in your camp I uh, think that you believe in them. You know, you want to make sure that the, the players believe that as the leader, you, you are thinking positive. So she hope in the interview was saying that they are looking to leave uh, history behind. Whatever happened um, in the past, they are leaving the past in the past. That is exactly what he's saying that, you know, leaving the past in the past and trying to uh, get the job done for the West Indies team. Um, he was also saying that, you know, they are really looking at the 2027 World Cup. So even though the T20 World Cup is just around the corner, these ODI games, you know, they, they will use them to sort of get an idea of where they are and, you know, what they need to um, adjust on as they continue to build towards 2027. Um, you know, so that is what uh, the captain was saying. You know, he's saying that they are still trying to find the brand of cricket that they are playing. Uh, that they want to play. I think a better way of putting it is that they, are, they, they want to test out their brand of cricket, um, not find it because what the coach said is, you know, they, they, they basically know the brand of cricket that they are trying to play and they are selecting players based on that type of brand. 
You understand? If you, if, you, if you don't know the brand, you can't select players based on the brand. So it's all about going out there and putting the brand of cricket that they want to play to test back in the players. That is one thing. They want to play attacking uh, good cricket. So they have to make sure that you know if they give the player a role and the player plays outside of his comfort zone just to make sure that he's fulfilling whatever you know they are trying to do, they have to bear those things in mind when they're when they're looking to shift pieces around in terms of dropping people and bringing people into the team. Right. So yeah, Skip was saying that you know it's all about just having the right mindset and doing what the teams need and doing what the team needs. Um, to, 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 to do, you understand. Um, the interviewer also touched on his record, you know, saying that he's closing in on another personal milestone where ODI cricket is concerned as a wicket keeper batsman, you understand, to score over um, what 5,000 runs. So, you know, she hope my people is one of those talented cricketers, but he's saying that it's all about putting the team first, and when he's achieving for the team, his personal goals will come. You know, so that is what he is, he is looking at. Uh, he also spoke about his uh, vice captain, Alzari Joseph, saying that Alzari has always been a leader in the camp. You understand, in the dressing room, he has always been that figure that, you know, will stamp his authority, show that, you know, this is what needs to be done. This is where we need to go. Not somebody that is always going to be up front speaking out a lot, but according to Shea Hope, he has always been pulling that sort of weight. So know that he has the official title. He's not looking for anything different. He's looking to see Alzari just continue being Alzari and um, basically doing what he has always done. So, you know, he's saying that there, it's nothing new for Alzari. He's always been, you know, playing that sort of role. And especially with him being the senior uh, pace bowler in the ODI squad these days, you know, it is even more important for him to uh, make sure that he's helping to motivate the young seamers that um, pacers that are coming through. So, man is saying that everybody is pumped, the vibe, everybody is upbeat, and they are ready to go. You know, he's saying that the preparation has, according to them, according to him, they have been preparing. Uh, you know, not just individually, but now it feels like a family. You know, they always make sure they they, they get us to understand that they are a family and they are a unit. So, according to him. It, the energy in the camp is good everybody is feeling close and you know they are ready to go so I'm um, very interesting my people as I said I uh, she hope the captain will definitely be looking to lead from the front once again so let us just hope that as they go in uh, everything will fall in place into place as they look to secure uh, the, 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 the first game you know, she hope was saying that it's they, they, they want to start off um, good, they want to start positive. So it would be nice to go out there and claim a victory in the first game and then push it from there. And bearing in mind that hope would have indicated that they have every, everyone that they need to do the job. You understand, people in the camp just need to believe that also, not doubt themselves. You know, social media, we are here to talk and we are here to... To, to, to say who should be there or who shouldn't be there. But a man know if him get the opportunity, just go out there and try and get the job done. So um, that is basically what our skip was saying, my people. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you all so you can basically have an idea of the mindset of the captain and the team um, in extension as it relates to how they are feeling going into the game. So not going to draw this one out any further. Just wanted to touch on that. So a little later on from now or early tomorrow before the game, I will go through and give you my usual keys to victory. Things that we need to do to secure um, the first uh, the victory, uh, secure a victory from the first game. Big up.